Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Caden Cleveland here with the Oklahoma Senate, and you're joining us for another episode of OK Senate On Deck. And of course, just like every week, we're joined with our President Pro Tem of the Senate, Senator Greg Treat. And uh, Senator, we're going to be talking about a few different things today, specifically focusing on uh, some of the things that we've worked on in the past and things that the Senate's uh, been able to do. Yeah, but you know, when you look at the past, it's a launching pad to the future. Right. So I want to look back, but we're also looking back to see to encourage us going forward. That's right. Okay. So hang with us, guys. We're going to be talking about a few different things today. Some uh, some really good things that uh, Senator Treat's been able to been a, been involved with over the past few years, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, guys. And uh, as we mentioned before, we're zeroing with Senator Greg Treat here for another episode of OK Senate on Deck. Uh, so, Senator, some of the things that uh, that we've been working on, not only this year but just the past few years, have been huge strides for our state moving forward. Uh, are there a few any that, that kind of pop out to you that are really major accomplishments that the Senate's been able to work on the past? Yeah, few years? and we haven't done it unilaterally. We've had the House's yeah. help on it, the governor's help in some instances, mm -hmm. and. So I don't want to take all the credit. And when I talk <laughs> about it, a lot of times these are not my bills. These are my colleagues' mm -hmm. bills. But, but what the legislature has been able to accomplish have been transformational, really, for the state of Oklahoma. Right. Our education investment last year it was historic, the largest uh, single investment in education. Right. We're absolutely committed to keeping that in the future. So as I said in the intro, you know, looking back to look forward, we are absolutely committed to public education in Oklahoma. Uh, when, when Republicans inherited... Uh, control of the Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, we had had a real lag in investment in infrastructure. Infrastructure absolutely is key to economic development. Right. We've been committed to fixing our roads and bridges. We see that uh, continuation now. It's frustrating for people sometimes when they're driving down the highway and there's construction, but that's progress. Right. And that's economic development that we're going to bring dollars into the state in the future and make the traveling public safer. Gotcha. So it sounds like a lot of the things that, that the has been done over the past few years has been more uh, almost investment minded, more for the long term sake and the benefit of the state. Is that is that kind of? I like think that's a really good point. Yeah, uh, we've done that on criminal justice too. Oh, yeah. Not not as big of investment up front on dollars, mm -hmm. although we do need to make some dollar investments there to to come to complete fruition in what we're doing. But long term, this state unfortunately leads the nation and leads the world in some categories of incarceration. Mm -hmm. We can do better. Uh, I've been uh, blessed to be a part of that. I've worked with a group of people who are dedicated to that. Mm -hmm. And we've made some great strides, but we're not going to stop. Criminal justice reform has been a priority and will continue to be a priority. Right. Uh, the kids that are the most vulnerable in the state uh, who are in state custody at, at the Department of Human Services deserve better. When I first came in the Senate, uh, there were uh, stories of neglect, abuse within foster care. That has not been eliminated, mm -hmm. but we have vastly improved it. Uh, and we have put over 100, I think it's about $112 million annualized into that budget to get more frontline workers out there. Mm -hmm. Because if, if the state is going to take somebody out of their parents' home, uh, that's, a, that's a horrible scenario. We need to make sure that that kid is the transformational generation in their family. That's right. uh, and so I believe deeply in that. Uh, an issue that's not as uh, emotional but very important financially for the state that we've done uh, yeoman's work on really has been the pension reform that we've done. When I came into office in 2011, uh, many of the pensions were for funded at 47% thereabouts, and we're in the mid-70s or higher on really? all of them now. It's been a huge investment. People don't talk about it, but I tell you, it, our financial state uh, as a state has improved vastly because we've made an investment. Plus, retirees can count on that retirement being there when they get uh, that's right. to retirement. Uh, okay. Some of the things you mentioned there are the topics that, that have been worked on are financial investments. But along with that, you can't just throw money at something and hope that it gets better, right? There's so much going on behind the scenes, policy work, different legislation being run that goes along and and really helps to uh, help those things move along, like criminal justice is the perfect example. Yeah, in criminal justice, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention there's a mental health component of that yeah. too, and we've shown a commitment, we'll continue to show a commitment to trying to make sure that we invest resources, but also policy changes mm -hmm. into the mental health arena. It's a huge problem, not just in Oklahoma, nationally, mm -hmm. uh, with the deinstitutionalization of those who are, have some mental health issues. It's really, uh, uh, 
uh, filled our prisons with people who are really need mental health mm -hmm. issues. It's filled our county jails with that. We've got to address that. I think Senator Lankford and I talked on yes. the uh, podcast before about juvenile mental health and his passion for that. Uh, he he really shared his passion with me. I'm going to see if we can incorporate that uh, going forward into our, our, our efforts on mental health. That's great. So let me ask you this. Um, we kind of did a real quick recap of a lot of the, the huge accomplishments that have been made over the past few years. Is this something that you mentioned this uh, investment in education that just um, most more recently happened is, is definitely a plan to move way into the future. There's no plan to back it off or anything like that. Is that, is that correct? We're absolutely committed right. to education funding. Uh, there are some that would like you to say that it's just funded for one year. That's a really misleading. Yeah. We're absolutely committed uh, to continuing to fund the teacher pay raise, mm -hmm. average $6,000 teacher pay raise. Uh, we're, we're absolutely committed to funding the classroom. Right. So, uh, yes, it's a long term. All these things that I'm talking about, these aren't one and done. Yeah. These are issues that are going to be going on uh, even after I'm out of the Senate. Right. Uh, these are things that are long term, that are transformational uh, for the state of Oklahoma. Love it. Okay, well, uh, other than that, other than recapping those, those main points that you talked about there, is there anything outside of there that you kind of foresee as being the next step in, uh, as we move forward in the next upcoming years? I think so. I think that these, like I said, are long term. Yeah. Okay. So they're incremental in some ways, although we can make some landmark uh, decisions with criminal justice right. reform. Education, I believe we made a landmark decision last year in making the investment. Roads and Bridges has been an incremental but a long time, mm -hmm. uh, long term commitment. So we're just going to continue down this path. We've got exciting things working with the loft that we've talked about on here a couple of yeah, times on, on improving our budget scenario. Mm -hmm. If we improve our budget scenario, we can get more resources to these priority areas. Uh, I'm just really excited and optimistic about next session. I think we're going to accomplish some, some huge things for Oklahoma. Well, guys, uh, we're about out of time here, but uh, I hope you've been able to kind of uh, see a little bit of everything that Senator Treat's been able to work on, even over the past few years and more recently, things in education, and uh, how that is it's really, truly a plan to not just stop, but to continue on into uh, the complete future in, in our state. So, uh, is anything else you wanted to? Yeah, another long term transformation happened. You uh, you got engaged. I right? did. I recently, did get engaged. Right? Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank I'm, you very much. I didn't tell you I was going to say that, but congratulations. <laughs> I'm excited for you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, I've been getting advice from uh, all sorts of people around here, and it pretty much wraps up to people saying, just say yes, ma'am, whenever it comes to wedding planning. So, <laughs> it works out fine. But, Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us this week and I guess we will see you next week. Bye.